Life is expensive, so you might as well make money while you're paying for it. Americans who own a cashback credit card earn an average of $757 per year, which is like two to three months of groceries. So if you're not using a cashback card yet, stay tuned because I've researched and tried out some of the best cashback credit cards over the last decade and pulled together a list of my favorite ones with the highest cashback percentages, best welcome bonuses, and cards with zero or low annual fees. Hi, I'm Carrie, a business owner and a digital nomad. I got my first credit card over 11 years ago and have been gaming the system ever since. If you're watching this video, great job. You're already ahead of most people because you're doing your credit card research now versus starting and canceling a bunch of credit cards, which then can negatively impact your credit score. First of all, there are different types of cashback credit cards that give you more rewards for different types of purchases. So today I'm gonna share the best cards for general purchases and for things like gas, travel, and groceries. And since we all have different spending habits, make sure to stick around until the very end so that you hear all of my top picks so you can decide which one may be best for you. Now let's make sure we all understand how cashback credit cards work. Essentially, every time you make a purchase, the card rewards you with a cash bonus. Usually that's a percentage of the money that you spent. You can put that extra cash towards your monthly payments, withdraw it to your bank account, or use your reward for things like airfare, gas, and groceries. Yes, the rewards are great, but please only get a credit card if you know that you can make the monthly payments. Credit card debt is a slippery slope because the interest rates are greater than any other type of debt. That includes personal loans, more than student loan interest, and more than car loan interest. And that's why my rule of thumb for not digging myself into a credit card debt hole is that if I can't pay for something in cash, I do not put it on my credit card. I'm actually working on a new video on how to decide if you need to get a new credit card or not. So please subscribe and turn on notifications if you're in that boat. And if you first need to get your budget in order, watch this video. It's also linked in the description. First up, let's cover credit cards for rotating categories, which can get you the most cash back. Especially if you plan on using one card for the majority of your shopping, these cards usually offer high cashback reward rates for a few specific categories that rotate four to 12 times a year. So if you wanna maximize your cashback, you gotta be down to strategize your shopping. And if you do it, you can earn hundreds, if not thousands annually by planning your large purchases around the rotating schedule. One of my favorite cards is the Discover It Cashback card, which has no annual fee. By the way, this was the very first credit card that I ever got in college because it's a great starting credit card if you're just starting to build that credit of yours. It offers 1% unlimited cashback on all purchases, which is unique because most credit cards have a limit on the amount of cashback you can earn. You can also earn 5% cashback for up to $1,500 per quarter on scheduled cash. 5%, by the way, is on the high end. So the rotating categories can include things like groceries, drugstores, streaming services, restaurants, wholesale clubs, digital wallets, and gas stations. Plus, their intro offer is pretty sweet. They match 100% of the cash back that you earn in year one. That's free money. Something I want to cover is APR or interest rate. APR stands for the annual percentage rate. And basically it's the percentage of interest that you pay if you miss payments or if you don't pay your balance in full. The average APR for a credit card is 18 to 25%, but this can be as high as 36% depending on your credit score and your history. And like I mentioned, credit card debt is the hardest type of debt to get out of. So if you're in the position where you need to carry a balance for short term, pay attention to the interest rate so you don't end up paying all of your money out to the credit card companies. And I'm gonna show you a credit card that has 0% interest rate here in just a bit. I'll share more about how interest rates affect your credit score and ways to improve your score soon. So subscribe and hit the bell. One cashback tip I have to share before moving on is that I earn extra cashback on my credit card purchases by combining gas station, restaurant, and grocery charges with cashback offers from the free Upside app. More on this later. My other favorite card for high cashback rotating categories is the Chase Freedom Flex, which has no annual fee and also offers 5% cashback on up to $1,500 per quarter for its rotating categories. But its other cashback rates really make it stand out. So it gives you 3% cashback rate on restaurants and drugstore purchases, plus 5% cashback on travel when you purchase with your reward points. Even though Freedom Flex doesn't have an intro offer, it gives you 0% APR or interest for your first 15 months. I mentioned this earlier, if you do need to hold the balance. 
So I used these two cards before nomading where I could actually plan out my schedule and life a little bit more. So if you don't think that you're a fit for the rotating categories and you can really plan and take advantage of it, you might wanna go with a card that offers cash back for everyday purchases, which is the next category. Credit cards with the best cash back deals on groceries, transportation, and gas are a great option for most of us who just need to buy groceries and get around for the month. I found that the best all around card for daily purchases is the American Express Blue Cash Preferred card. This one has an almost unheard of 6% cash back on groceries up to $6,000 per year and 3% on gas and transit costs like Uber and Lyft parking, tolls, buses, and more. There's no annual fee the first year and then there's a pretty standard annual fee of $95 starting in year two. But with that amount of cash back, the fee pays for itself and then some. And by some, I mean a lot. If you spend $3,000 in your first six months of opening your account, they will give you $250 in statement credits as a bonus. Of course, the downside with Amex is that some people don't take Amex. Another one that I really like is the Capital One Saver One card, which gives you unlimited 3% cash back on all dining, grocery, and entertainment purchases, including streaming services and 1% on all other purchases. I spent a ton of money on concert tickets, so this one's really good for that. They also have a 10% cash back offer for Uber and Uber Eats users, which is me. So eat up y'all. Plus their new card member bonus is super competitive at $200 when you spend $500 in the first three months. I can spend $500 in three seconds. So if you buy all of your groceries with this card, you shouldn't have a problem spending that much. It's easy money. If you have a specific grocery store that you shop at the most, you might consider seeing if that store has a credit card, but only if you mainly use that one store. Places like Target, Walmart, and even Instacart offer their own credit card, which you can use to save a certain percentage on every purchase at their store and get cash back on purchases everywhere else. Okay, before getting on to our next batch of credit cards, here's how to get even more cash back and earn smarter, regardless of the card you use. Remember to stack your card earnings with extra cash back from the Upside app. You can earn up to 25 cents per gallon cash back on gas, plus up to 45% cash back on restaurants and up to 30% cash back on grocery purchases. Just download the free app and use code YouTube to get an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first gas purchase. All right, onto our last category, travel credit cards, which technically aren't cash back, but if you travel a lot like me, the points are worth a lot more than what you can get with cashback credit cards. Even though you earn points for every dollar you spend, you're not limited to using them on travel purchases. And you get rewarded, of course, in the points or miles that you can use for future flights, hotels, and car rentals. Before you sign up for one of these travel cards though, check to see if you usually fly on multiple airlines or just one. If you usually fly with just one, consider signing up for the airlines credit card because there's usually huge intro bonuses and extra perks like priority boarding with the Alaska Airlines visa or free bags with a Delta card. When I got my Southwest Airlines card, the intro offer totaled 100,000 points, which is valued at $1,300 in flight credits. Another good airline card is the United Explorer, which has an intro bonus of 60,000 miles or just over $700 in flights. Wow, why do I sound like a flight attendant? Anyways, if you fly on multiple airlines, the Wells Fargo autograph card has unlimited triple points for flight purchases and my personal favorite, the Chase Sapphire. So the Chase Sapphire preferred rewards $750 towards travel if you spend $4,000 in your first three months. I personally use my Chase Sapphire card the most these days because I can use my points on any airline, any hotel, rental car, or just regular purchases like my Apple Watch. I have a whole video coming out soon specifically for travel credit cards, so make sure to subscribe. And if you travel a lot like me, you might wanna check out this video on how to save money on travel. If you have any questions about these cards, my experience, or have any other cards in mind, comment below. Hello. But whether you're filling up on gas, dining out, or getting groceries, remember that you can earn extra cash back with Upside with literally any credit card. Just link your credit card in your Upside wallet, claim the offer at the location, then you just shop, eat, and fill up as usual. After you pay, just click I've paid, and then the app is gonna verify the purchase and put the cash back into your account. And then you can use it for another gift card, put it in your bank account, or cash out with PayPal. Download the free Upside app with the code YouTube to get the 25 cents per gallon bonus. That's all for today. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope you find the right credit card for you. See you later. Happy earning.